This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Seventh public versus private challenge. Our first game here at the Howard Lions up against Mount Carmel Lady Cougars from the IAB Conference. That's a good thing going. Yeah, Mount Hebron went down to in the first matchup. We'll have that result for you later. Here we are. Talk to you today. The Lions started off. That layup goes in early. Team up and lead. Clock at 10. And a foul. Foul is called for him. This thing bound, looking to inbound. It do. Spin move, turns it over. Back comes the lady Cougars. Coaster calls and the ball was wide. The ball will stay with Mount Kilmer on their end. Big one for uh, Howard the other day, but we to be Mount Hamburg. Inside, we are tied at two. Two of peace here. Bob Long. Make the foundation. Camel and the Freaks are starting to see practice here and here. Number four. That's a three. That one tipped in this. Keep my toe. Ball is on the runaway. Over to Howard. Inside. Goals of defending B Conference champion I am. They took care of business this morning. So many games coming your way here from Fort One and Fort Chief. Guys from Network. Thank you so much for joining us. You're on the girls' side of things. Second shot. That one misses. That's a three, no good offensive rebound. Tipped and miss. Out of bounds. Howard gets it back. Early tie, two game. Jumper, no good. And a foul is back the other way to Mount Camel. Swing out some little foot too. Early. Mark Kimmel at the Basketball Academy beating City. Now with their big win is Mark Hebron. And even at two. It's a drive floater. Missed it off the 
side. Back from the late Kruger. Trying to unbreak this tie too. Jumper. That one tipped and missed. Nice positioning. Reach in and a foul against the Lady Lions. Long distance pass, got it over. Swings, swings again. That's a three from the top. That one no good. And out of bounds, the ball back to Howard. Still, about three minutes into this one. Drive, pull up, just get off the bat. Thank you so much for checking us out here on the Dice Way Network. As always, check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Dice Way Network. Of course, on our Facebook page officially, on Facebook, Dice Way Network. Finally, the mothership right here on YouTube. Over 900 subscribers strong. And thank you all so much for that. Once again, as we get you with girls' action, we'll come to your third and two thirds of the time with boys' action. We always got a place for our girls here. And no doubt this is a seven public versus private challenge. A real goal is something. Who's more dominant? Private schools or public? And there's always a good atmosphere. And they're having a good time. The whole school is passing. We, Jim's taking play a part of it. Probably even more than that. Inside, Mr. Wise. Second shot. Sixteen lead for Howard. The Howard County champion. Next city again. Lions and a foul. Got an offensive foul. Sister. First team foul, I believe. One. Ow. Three forty eight left here in the first one. Side, that was a bad she got it. Did not go.
four lead. Yeah, wow. Four games. For three. No good off the side. Offensive rebound. Alright, let's call. Two shots. Rebound, girls. <laughs> Side. 
Got the road in low. Puts a rebound. Does go in. Nice positioning. Two, one, half court shot. Almost. Right after one. It's 11 9 lead here for Howard. And another seven public versus private challenge here. McDonough on court one. We'll be back in the second court. Coming up here on the Nice One Network. Stay tuned for this. Second quarter underway, turnover there by Mount Kilmer. The ball back to Howard. 11-9 lead here for the Lions. Top of the school team. 18 on the shot clock. That's a drive to the basket. Two shots. Coming up for Harris, the senior at the line. Second shot. That miss. Ball back to Malcolm. Henry. Oh, that one did not go in. Malcolm can tie this game with a two here. One, two, three, one. Try to go inside. Reversal. We got a tied game. Tied at 11. A very entertaining contest here so far. Tunisia at the line here for Mark Kilmo. Time out by Howard. And we got a tie game. This has been a with a very physical matchup between these two girls programs. Take you what's what's to come here and uh, Middle Town and Rolling Park here on Court One. That should be an interesting matchup there. Pikeville uh, and McDonough. What a game that's going to be. South Shore, St. Francis. What a, what a match up there. What a match. Top, top ten matchup in the country. We're going to have it right here on the dock. That work for you and then Plotting and Polly. If you watch Polly on our channel, round them twice, the way they run pace, it's going to be a magnificent game. Weston ends up. The public first round challenge is National Christian Academy. Gypsy Lil Mama. Oh, <laughs> so much good action coming your way here today and uh, feel to be a part of it. Second shot. That one misses as well. So. Both free throws did not go as Harris brings it up, swings it back over there to inside. Oh!
first shot off the back. Let's go. Second shot. Ah, oh, that one missed as well. We got tied at 11. Just join us. Makes it again. Drive. Turns it over. Back on the line, trying to retake the lead here. Henry. Swings it again. Howard. Again, both teams are trying to settle in here. Howard has been scoreless here in the quarter so far. We're tied at 11. Ends it again. One more time. Nice pass work. Block in the back against the Lady Cougars. To the line to shoot a pair. First shot. Second shot. That's it. 11 lead here but Howard here we taking the lead by two Half, almost had the halfway point here in the second pass swings it back over shot clock down to 17 that's the three got it Malcomo takes the lead for the first time 13 13 to the basket is Harris. Tried to get it and missed it. And up top. Stepped out actually, I believe. Stepped out. Two good coaching staffs for Coach Scott Robinson and company from Howard and uh, Coach Rob Long and his staff. Howard here, and as the lead has been changed a couple times, Coach Long takes the timeout from Mount Camel. With this one today, limited commercials, by the way. We'll have limited commercial breaks. What do you think for that? And uh, indeed, what, what a high paced matchup this one has been here so far. And uh, back and forth one. Swing over the court, see. <laughs> <laughs> right, we could be staying on. I said, I'll take a little peek at court, too. I'll take a little peek at the action. I'll let you know what it's about. Yeah, thank you all so much. Joining us here on the dice right now. That's fine. Today we're taping on a Saturday. And, uh, so much action to get out to you. Back to game action. Let's go, Howard! 
trying to get you Roland Park and uh, St. Francis girls on Monday. So we had a schedule change. We're trying to get that one to you on our airways here. First shot. Second shot, yes. One of two, 16, 14 game. Cup holder. That's a cup holder in your hand. Tried to save it and turned it over. The company had the save and then the Harris, she pulls up and hits the back. Mark Hamilton tied his game again with a two. Side, tip and miss. The hustle, Howard gets it back. And no doubt the Lions. And now trying to settle this game down a little bit. Phonetic on both sides. And the Lions now running half court. Swings it again. Henry back, three ball, tip the miss, out of bounds, and back to the Lady Cool. Uh, Howard, one more, they're going to put the Lady Krugers in the one and one Howard's already in the one and one because Mark Hamill, they have 18 Back over, and a foul, that makes seven, and it's going to be two shots this time. First shot, got it. Nice crowd here. Girls basketball this the tape this this morning. Second shot. Tip the miss. Oh, puts a rebound though, and the lane traveled. Ball back to Howard. 2.36 left. Nice and I. Kelly, sorry. 18-15 game. 217 left in the half. Let's go, Kelly. Contingent had to look out of down there. 
152 left in the half here. And the lead to three here for Howard. Very close game throughout Paris. Back over. Henry cuts. Yes. Pulls up. to 15. Back up by five. Oh, oh. Nice pass. We're going to travel again. Killed Uncle Mo there for Mark Campbell. 115 left here. comes to the line to shoot. First shot. Second shot. Off the bat, no good. Six point lead here for Howard as the half approaches to an end. Picked off. Back the other way. Cut pass. Cut back over. And a foul. Tenth team foul against Mark Campbell. Two shots for the next 48.3. First shot, in there. Offensive rebound. Oh. She just makes it look easy in that lane, don't she? 23-17. Shot clock and clock, about a two and a half second difference between the two. Henry. I'm bringing it up. Runs it over to Spassenberg. Public versus private challenge. 26-17 lead for Howard. Second half coming up at you at the PWG today about and a mini commercial break. We'll be back.
second half underway. Howard turned over the ball. Started off, and now Kimmel has it out in for a Green. She should. Oh, on the way. Travel. A walk. The other way. Offensive rebound and shooting two. When it's all two four, get that. First shot here. And echo. Hey, two four, let's talk about that free money. Second shot here. That one. Yeah! Lead back to nine here for the Lady Lions. Drive. Turns it over. Back the other way. Side. And foul. Quickly two fouls against the Lady Cougars here. Shot. Yeah. I got free money now. Take your time. Second shot. Off the back. Good. One of two. 29 19 game. Drive. The side missed it off the glass. Back over. No good. One more time. That didn't get it. Back over, no good. Jump up, right? Jump it there, time out. Nine point lead here. Four, that's just me. A 12 point lead now for Howard here over my camel. Okay, so I think she went a little closer. 
Ruben Tapia again. Uh, going up here, we're going to hang on Court A a little bit, Newtown and Mercy. Take a look at Frederick and St. Andrews as well. Both of them. Middletown, Rolling Park Country. What a matchup that's going to be. We were really getting to the teeth of this thing. The whole school, McDonough, brings their neighbors up the way here, Pikesville. We seen Pikesville yesterday. We're looking for them to rebound against the loss they had against City. Excuse me, against Pali. And uh, we will see Pali as well against Pilate later on in the day. And we'll see South Shore against St. Francis. Then Western. They just got to push in the cannon. <laughs> Take it back to game action here. Back to game action. Mal Campbell trying to get on a run here. They got on a run to take the lead briefly in the second. But Howard takes this game down to their end and they have had control again six that. Side and a walk. Ball back to the Lady Lions. Swings it. Go over again. One more time. Ready ball in the corner. Tip the miss. A lot of bodies in there for Mark Kevin to get that rebound. Cuts the defense. And missed it wide. Second chance didn't go. Ball not dropping right now for Mark Kevin. Side. Yeah, hey, spin out. Time has not been kind in this one. Inside Harris. 13 foul against Mark First shot. Come on. Ah, that one didn't go. Second shot here coming up.
Spenmo getting overwhelmed. Oh, 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 Spenmo, a little kiss on the side right there. There you go. That's the lead to 20. a drive, inside, and Henry coming to shoot two. 111 left here in the quarter. Talk about going hard to the basket, she definitely did that. First shot here. And then. Shot here. Quarters drawn to a close. That one didn't go. 42 21 game. Here for Howard, they're up by 21. Doubled up the score here. On Three balls. Good ball. Good ball. What we got here? Foul against Howard. Inside, no good. Back over. Didn't get it. Swings it. Oh, too wide out of bounds. Back over. There. Keeps it with 3.2 left in the court. Three seconds, three seconds. Quick shot. Open jumper. Oh, spin down at the buzzer. Wow. Howard controls the third. They go up by. Here over Mount Campbell, fourth quarter, coming up at you. We'll be back. Fourth quarter here underway, and uh, there has been Howard showing the third, but that three. They changed the fortunes around from out there. 42 26. Drive, pull up. Tip to miss. Save my camera, the brush is on the other.
Did it go long for that one and it went out of bounds. Big City. Turn up, jump third. No good. Offensive rebound. No good. Back over. Shot it in. Oh, be careful. 44. 28. Mark Elmo can get on the run here. It'll be been striking distance again. Offensive foul off the ball. Set the pitch, let her come to you. Big three of his hit. Tip the miss. Go, 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 go. Court Henry. Ah, shooting two. Fifteen foul against the Lady Crew. Second shot here. Goes in. Nice work at the line here by Howard. They lead back to 18. Three ball. Tip to miss. Nice see that there by Magalong. And move wide and turn to God, the foul didn't go. And the foul on the floor. Howard Rusa. Very active inside. She gets attention for herself. That is a fact. Help, help. Thirty-seven left in this one. Eighteen point lead here for Howard. Five twenty-seven left. Find the back door. Over and one down the basket. Here by Mark okay, Hill, I believe. Both teams have five fouls apiece. Yeah, and this one, and of course, check out the Flex Zone every Monday night, 10 p.m. on Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> of course, how you run it? The Flex Zone coming at you. Hey, what's up, coach? Is it consistent? Hello. Uh, Core cool one. Okay. All right. See you in the south. Back to game. Action shortly. And right. Back in the game, 
action. Foul, foul. Peace. This is a little up and down yesterday. Oh, okay. Strong in the building, Coach. How are you? Thanks for taping on this morning. Good, good. How's everything going? Glad to be here. Yeah. Here and on the floor right now. Wow. This Howard team in front of Coach up by 16. And they really kept the pace down for Mark Hill. Have not been able to let them run pace. Four nineteen left in this one. Definitely appears that Calhoun has a height advantage in this game. Yes. She has paid dividends inside when she's gotten the ball. I was done a good job of not letting her get the ball inside the bank. Second shot, that one did not go either. Side. Oh, wide there. Very tentative early, but Howard, both teams got into it, but then Howard hit about three threes, and that really changed the game around. Okay. Four minutes left. Pull up. No good. The other way. And that was a lot going on there. Oh, Howard gets it back. Yeah, a little out of control there. I think again, we talked about it yesterday. In the two on one situation, you got to make the right pass. Get the ball back. Get an exactly. Oh. I think right now, my pen will see the score. They see the time running down, trying to make up a lot of points in a hurry. And find that, that just don't get you where you want to be. Henry, back to Harris. Oh, got it back though. Just the nail in the coffin, no good. Still a chance for Malcolm. Trailer, what's trailer? Thanks. Yeah, get over. Nice pass by Harris. And it's one of those situations where we're talking about just being out of control. Yes, I, I coach, coach sensed that. Harris was saying, I was at the lane, I could have got it too. But I think uh, Coach Robinson did the right thing there, calling a timeout for out. We're going to head on court two in a little bit, see uh, Newtown against Mercy. What you, what you think you should see out of that one? I've heard that Mercy's been doing well in the IAA this year, so uh, and you know Newtown always has a good product. So, again, as I said yesterday, basketball in the state of Maryland is alive and warm, so it, it's in a good place. Uh, coaches and kids. It's a great thing that Al Shell is able to put on a product like this, man, at 605 loops. So. What's the question about it, and uh, this is a good as we take the media seekers off. But for a new basketball game, this is not a bad crowd here in Court One. And I heard Court Two coming in, and it was jamming. And I, I, uh, I heard some of the noise behind my neighbor and they do as well. A lot of congestion outside the parking lot. Yeah, the, 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 the little inside basketball here <laughs> doing construction. Last time I was up here, they. None of that was going on, so it's a lot tighter here at McDonough. The park will drop off wherever you're coming from. But nonetheless, still a pretty good whole school for this event. That one missed. Oh, that was a long pass there by Alexander. Inside! 
Well played by Rob Jones. They're not going to go down for our absolute game. You see the transfer from ING ran to the corner, which created the space. And uh, the guard was able to drive and just put us in the rim. So good job. I just seen the guy just keep going, attacking. Both benches are very deep. That's a good thing for basketball. Huge yeah. Howard. I would say the best team in Howard County beat Mount Hebron there. Lead to 12. As you say, Howard. Don't got this one quite tied up yet. Hang on. Turn. Almost turned over. Harris kept it. Back inside. And no good. We ain't done yet, ladies and gentlemen, especially with three drops. Knock him. Oh, very costly turnover there, Coach. Oh, Advance the ball. Advance the ball. Don't pound the ball in the court. Advance the ball. Get up like the last pass. Any possession. I should have really thought after the pass was, was wanted. Come on, eat up. Again, our camera plus so hard to get back in this thing. Two minutes left. See how it's moving the ball. We're going to hold the ball do a lot of dribbling. Two minutes for one dribble go. Inside! Missed it off the tip. Pick City! Henry. Initiating the steal. Yeah, well, I was trying to, trying to get a break start. I'm seeing that the time is running down. Shot clock at five. Oh. <laughs> Missed it off the back. No good. Back to Mount Camel still. Good opportunity for Mount Camel to cut it down. <laughs> to a 10 point lead there. So time is the enemy now for the Lady Cougars. When she gets the ball, she, she's effective. Absolutely. Got to find a way to get it to her. Time out here, one on one left. And I can Howard fully lock the door in this one. I think right now Howard's just trying to play the possession game, the time of possession. I'm sure they'll work the ball around, work the ball around. They'll shoot within the last 10 seconds of the shot clock. Uh, just don't even have a turnover right now. And uh, Mount Carmel just has to turn up the defensive intensity and uh, try to get a, get a turnover in the next possession. It's definitely huge there as a court one, Newtown Mercy. Uh, Roland Park will be here on court two in a little while. I mean court one, excuse me, in a little while. Against Middletown. So it'll be an interesting matchup there. Is McDonough here tonight too? Yes they are. It's the Pikesville after that uh, okay. Roland Park matchup. Old school looking to rebound. No, absolutely, from last night's game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. definitely looking to rebound from their defeat. We've seen them yesterday against Pilot. Seconds left. Both teams in a one and one. That was very quick. They're small, they're fast. Their guards are small and fast. They understand what to do with the basketball. 4A school. See why and how it is. Very tough. Shot clock down to seven. Oh, good night. No foul, no foul. Two shots. It's a surprise that Mount Carmel didn't bring somebody to the ball. With all the dribbling, come trap the ball, get it out of my hands. There's only three seconds left on the shot clock. 
But again, that was a great finish by the young lady. Great finish. That it was. Great finish uh, by uh, Emily Duger. <laughs> game in basketball is now, if you don't score 50, 60 points, man, it's going to be really tough to win in high school basketball across the world. Definitely agree. Foul is called here. Props to Mark Kimmel for not giving up on the fight here in this game, but it's going to be Howard's day and get a public school win here in the public versus private challenge. Absolutely. It comes down again to just, just one day. Sometimes it's just your day. Trust me. St. Paul's was here earlier and they defeated Mount Cameron. I think them and Mount Kelmo in the uh, MIA B Conference, IA, excuse me, B Conference, should be a good one. They meet the championship out at uh, Stevenson. Absolutely, absolutely. Steve is a great place to host. And again, I think that um, sometimes for our kids, when you come out here as early as morning, right. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock games, the uh, majority of your kids are sleeping on a Saturday. So, uh, you know, this is it's good that, that Howard came up and they, they were ready to go. They answered the bell and they negated the height inside. Second shot in there. Camel. I don't know if the school board is right now. I don't think Howard had that many fouls. He should be in seven. That's on its way here on the Dice Right Network. Stay tuned. This is Die Sporting Network. 